Yo, 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 it's your boy Chosen. You rocking out with D-Hype Magazine and my homegirl Shay Star. And you already know that like when this chair is sitting here, that means that we have like a whole other situation going on. So, you know, I would like to introduce my last guest of the evening. And he goes by the name of Chosen. Chosen, what up, though? Clap it up, clap it up, clap it up. Hey! Chosen. Chosen lyrics, one on IG and everything across the board. That way, the candy man is in the building. And last night, it was like a candy land. It was definitely a situation last night. And I definitely feel it today. But, you oh, know, we're still working. <laughs> we're still working. Sleep deprivation is real. Yeah, like I, like I told him, I said, guys, like last night, you know, my, my guests today are two of my guests from last night. And I'm like, I don't know if they're going to make it or not, but you did. <laughs> like, I don't miss nothing. <laughs> if it's working, I thrive off of it. I got to be at it, you know what I mean? Especially yeah. for you. Man, listen, can I, can I give me this for a second? You know, Tattoos are freaking amazing. Man, let me tell you something, right? From the minute that I met Chosen, it's been all love, like literally. And then it's even greater because we found out that we have some very close mutual friends as well, which makes it even more dope. Um, I had the opportunity to come out to your release party um, at Escobar a couple weeks ago. Um, stupid packed, you know, shout out to you. Yeah. Brand new project entitled Candyland. You got a hot ass single entitled Candy Man. So let's go ahead and run through that real quick. Candyland, how did the whole concept come together? Well, you know, really it just has to do with what's going on now, current, you know what I mean? Like, a lot of people, especially, you know, artists and stuff, they like to get in their bag when they're in the studio. Everybody got their thing, whether they drink, you know what I mean, they smoke, they, you know what I mean, pop something. Uh, you know what I mean? So, I became a candy man, you know, because it's just what I what I do. So, when I go to the studio, everybody like, hey, bro, we got to get with you, you know what I mean? We got a session tonight, and da 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 you the candy man. <laughs> so, it just really came from that. That's really where that came, you know what I mean, the whole candy man thing. And we was already, I was already doing music based on my life, you know what I mean? So, it just made sense, and I was just like, you know, we're going to do a candy man record. And then it led to Candy Land being the mixtape. Well, and, and I will say this, like, you know, a lot of times, you know, you meet people, especially with what I do, I meet people all the time, and sometimes they're not who you think they are or who they portray themselves to be, and you just said something that's, like, really profound because I was just speaking to a group of kids about this a couple of days ago, and it's like, let's not get caught up. It's called the entertainment business, you know, and these new generation of rappers and hip hoppers aren't living the lives that they're rapping about so that when they're faced with these different obstacles and adversities they really don't know how to deal with it but i feel like maybe our generation is probably the last of the mohicans who are actually living that life right. that they talk about and you know you're definitely one of those people to, that are really out here in these streets and the stuff that you talk about is real life that you actually go through mm -hmm. so how do you you know resonate with your lifestyle versus entertainment keep them separated but also balance it it's really really hard um, to do that I mean, it's something that is taking me a lot of time to be able to do because there's a real fine line especially with entertainment you know what I mean yeah. and then doing what I do because you got to be careful what you say what you show yeah. you know what I mean like mm -hmm. so it's been hard for me because you got to find that line when you're really doing it where you're like okay it's time to let this all the way go yeah. you know what I mean and you got to have belief and be able to to invest in yourself and know that you're going to accomplish that to be able to do that you know what yeah. I mean so and I tell a lot of people like if you're really doing it you got to have an end game you can't just you can't just be like oh I'm going to trap the rest of my life or or say you trapping and you really not because it's not something to glorify you know what I mean like 
people got to live. People got bills. I know I got bills, so I got to pay them one way or another. And today, <laughs> and today, ain't no job going to be able to pay the life I want to live yeah. or for my daughter or my family. So, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? But it's really hard to keep them separate. You know, I just had to. I can't rap about something I'm not living. It's just so much easier, so much natural, and people can feel it whenever it's real. Yeah. So I just people relate to what's real. Yeah. yeah, and so I just taking a risk. Really, it's a risk I'm taking. You know what I mean? So that's why it's important to me that the fans understand that I do this for them. You know what I mean? That I'm taking a risk with my life. You know, other artists they, they use all their money, but I'm really taking a risk with my life by doing this. You know what I mean? You're putting, investing that yes. back into your career, and, and, and I'm putting everything on the line because by me talking about these things and showing these things that are really going on in my music, I'm taking a really big risk of being completely taken away from everything, my family, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And what I love, like, so to me, it means a lot more than it might the next person. Man, that is so real, you know, and I don't think that, I don't think I've ever had anybody really break it down like that, to, to that, you know, magnitude where it's like, look, I'm doing this because I'm trying to feed my family. Right. I'm doing this because I want to keep, you know, feeding my fans, but I want y'all to realize that I'm really putting a lot of stuff on the line, sacrificing a lot. It is. Like, you, people always say, oh, I'm a boss. Like, j- just because you out here toting pistols and shit, you know what I mean? That doesn't make you a boss. Like, yes. the definition of a boss is to have employees under you. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. To be able to feed other people. Like, to be able to pay the people. That yeah, to be able to pay the people. And, mm-hmm. and anybody that knows me, that works with me, like, they eat with me. I'm gonna make sure they're good because my my word is my bond. It's everything I got. So if you ever go and ask, hey, what's up with chosen? Da, 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 they always gonna tell you, bro, he the one you need to work with because he gonna make sure you're good. And I'm also big on loyalty. Like if you with me at this point, you're gonna be with me afterwards. Absolutely. If you're not in this circle, when them bags from the music, not from the streets, mm-hmm. that's completely separate. Mm-hmm. But from this music, when the bags are coming, if you're not in that circle of people that put the work in and believed in me. It's, it's over with you know what i mean and and i just believe in that strongly and i think that a lot of people if they would just put that to heart and just be who they are and speak real stuff they're going to get a lot further than trying to act like the person next to them and you know and that that's one thing that i fell in love with with you because it's like you know we just gonna say it it is what it is you're white boy right. doing this rap hip-hop shit right. you know what i'm saying so it's like how do you how do you get people to really take you serious and not compare you to Eminem or um, what's what's the other guy with the long hair that be rapping? Post Malone. Yeah, Malone. And you know what I mean. It's just like how do you? Okay, yeah, that's cool, but I'm me. I'm chosen. Like how do you stand apart where people be like, oh, I I see what's really going on. The streets, hmm. really. You know what I mean? Like the streets, they fuck with me. So, mm-hmm. you know, you might see me. You know, on the east side one day, you might see me like, you know, just because I do the music and I'm white, that don't mean nothing. Like, I grew up in a certain way around certain people. You know what I mean? You are a product of your own environment. Like, that's where that meaning really comes in. You know, so I got respect. You know what I mean? Like, people know I'm going to come and keep it real. They know that... You know, I'm, I'm about my business. I keep it strictly about the business. I'm not out there to, to look no way. You know what I mean? Like, I am who I am. I was raised this way. My mom is a boss. You know what I mean? She she going to be out in two months from now. She did an eight-year Fed sentence. So, it's like, I was raised this way. My mom taught me to hustle. Like, you can't you can't eat off this life. If you want something, you got to take risks. Hustle, get out, get it. And people see it and they respect it. And if they don't, I don't really give a shit. Yeah, and, and you know, I, I appreciate, you know, you being so honest and open and transparent. Because, again, I remember that first conversation that, that we had. And, you know, I'm looking at you like, okay, all right, I hear you. But then as I watched Mm-hmm. And I actually got a chance to get to know you. It was just like, you know what? He really is about that. Like, right. for real. And I appreciate your transparency and your honesty and your openness with me because that allows me to, you know, get into... And know who I really am. Exactly. Yeah. And I appreciate exactly. it, too, because, you know, I know within for, within the first five minutes, and, and they say real, recognize, real. Like, mm-hmm. if you really real, you're going to be able to understand the type of person somebody is within the first five minutes that you meet them. Mm-hmm. You know, by the way they they carry themselves, the way they talk, the way they, everything, you know, it tells a lot about a person. So to me, you know, I appreciate the people that have given me opportunity and don't look down on me because 
if you do you know you're doing something right when other people start hating on what you're yeah, doing of course. if they're not then the devil's not at work and you're not moving anywhere so you know it's it's just really good to have good people around me because it, it's, it allows me to do things a lot easier mm -hmm. and i don't know everything yeah I know about the streets, and I what I really did is I took the music and incorporated it with the streets. Well, I got a handful of people I can deal with here in the streets, you know what I mean, and get this amount. So if I can get this much money and live this type of life off a handful of people, you know what I mean, then with the music, I got the whole world to deal with. That's a no-brainer. No there, there should be no exactly. reason why I can't get what I want. You know yeah. what I mean? So. And you work hard for it? I mean, shoot, that freaking Candyland situation is just dope like every song on that mixtape is fire so let's kind of talk about that a little bit where where well we know you get your inspiration from your life you know but how do you decide you know which producers you're going to be able to work with that's going to be able to give the sound and put that message across that you know you're trying to put out for your fans honestly um you know, a lot of people, I like to work with people that are coming up. You know what I mean? Like, I got, I know ATL Jacob is on is on uh, my tape right now. You know, one of his beats. And uh, I work with one of the other producers, um, uh, Fresh and C Breeze. Now, C Breeze, he's got a lot of placements, but he's just about his family. So, I go based off the person. You know what I mean? So, I'm like, okay, here's this young dude that's about his family, that's grinding, that's making these beats. People don't even know who he is. But I know who he is, and I want to work with him and bring him up just like his beats. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I, I work based on that, you know what I mean, and the vibe. And it's like if I can take this young cat beat and throw it on and every single one I put on I can stand up to and vibe out to, why would I not work with him? You know what I mean? So he doesn't have the credentials. Or yeah. Like and you got to think, and whenever I do something that helps him blow up, he going to look at me like, man, I appreciate it, you yeah, know what I mean? And now and now he's selling his records for three, four, five grand a piece and he, he you know, he's showing me love. So it's like you just gotta be like that. You can't just want, want, want. You gotta give. You know what I mean? Say that. Now normally I'd be like, yo, we're gonna keep doing this, but y'all he giving y'all a lot of game right now, so y'all know we're gonna get the famous bloop, bloop, bloop. He dropping them jewels, you know what I'm saying? But that's how we gotta keep y'all educated, man. Entertainment business, but you gotta be enlightened. You gotta understand that it's deeper than rap, man, for real. So I appreciate it when I'm able to have real life conversations with intellectual people who really get it beyond the glitz, the glamour, the clothes, the cars, the hoes, the drugs, the money whatever like you really doing this for real because you really believe in what is it you're doing and you have a family to feed as well so we all people you know what facts, I mean? like we yes. all people regardless what you see we people like mm -hmm. ain't nobody different than the other person it's like you might be a certain way in front of other people because it is the entertainment mm -hmm. business but when all that's over with like it's all about family to me and just loyalty and being able to enjoy it what's the point of getting all this money just like i said what's the point of having all the jewelry and cars if you ain't living free you know what i mean if you ain't got the family to enjoy it with i don't want it if i can't enjoy it with nobody facts facts well, you already know, like, you family over here, whatever you need, we got you. You know what I mean? You guys, his project is amazing. He's amazing. The energy is always dope. Every time I ask you to show up, it don't matter. You can have a full damn itinerary. He always makes sure, even if it's just for 30, 45 minutes, that you slide through, pop in. And I definitely appreciate that. And last night, you know, you really just showed me just how you really do fuck with me. And I really appreciate Man, it that. Was crazy. What you mean? <laughs> I appreciate it. We was lit up in there, boy. It was crazy. If y'all wasn't out there, y'all missed it, man. Y'all missing some stuff because Atlanta yeah. be popping, but there's certain places. You gotta really be on social to see what's really going on and come out to it, cause it was a good time. I had a, I felt like it was my birthday last night. <laughs> I'm in there like shit. It's my birthday, shit. You know, so I had, a, I, I appreciate it. You know what no, I mean? The, the vibe last night was cool. It wasn't no hate. Everybody came out, did they thing. The, the amateur artists to the more seasoned artists, everybody got up there, everybody did their thing, you know, so thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you again to you, Law, and, you know, everybody that's actually in this room right now <laughs> for coming out last night for real, because we definitely had a great time, but it's my birthday, guys, and we're about to continue the turn up at Magic City, so we got to get out of here, but um, I definitely just wanted to give you the opportunity to, you know, share with 
the world, you know, basically, because this is going on HypeMagazine.com, yes. Shaystar.com, our new reality TV series, and some old shit. So, you know what I'm saying? We got moving. it going. That's <laughs> it moving. I mean it. Better catch up. <laughs> nah, but, um, like, I try to make sure that it's important, especially at this point, that I let people know because some people don't understand. If you are watching this right now, make sure you follow me on Instagram at Chosen Lyrics One. My YouTube, my videos, all my music, my website, everything is linked to it. I'm not Hollywood, so, you know, anybody that enjoys my music, I went to Linux today. I went and went shopping. I took 10 steps in the mall and I had like four or five people coming to me. Hey, can I take your picture? I That's one of the th reasons I do this for. So follow me and hit me and I will definitely talk to you. I'm not going to ignore you and act like I don't know that you just hit me. So follow me and make sure you go get Candyland because it is out everywhere. I don't care where you go. It's out everywhere. Tidal, Spinrilla. I just did something with the mayor of the street. So uh, Street Smoke 11, we dropping it out there. Like, Let's work for the artists and all the fans. Just follow me. I'm telling you, I got big things coming. Mm. Um, which translates to what he has his paperwork together so Got it. that way <laughs> Got it. so y'all look we about to get out of here man i love you guys we'll see you next tuesday um you know pay attention to the promo because we got some pretty dope people coming through next week as well it's your girl shay star this is headlines powered by the hype magazine and we're always at the building atl Get me. peace